Hey guys, this is a little series of um, astrological videos about the sun's energies. This isn't necessarily about the sun sign, although you could really listen to that and link it to your sun sign. But you could also link any planet or point that aspects that sign or that is actually occupying that sign and pretty much get an idea of the average energy that this sign should have. Um, I'll leave um, little link in the description box below if you want to um, see your own chart if you haven't done that yet. Thanks for watching. Okay, so Virgo, we're back in the Earth signs and the mutable signs and the human signs because they're all three of those. Um, Virgo is the energy of the Virgin, which is really clean, which is very detail oriented, which is very analytical and down to earth in a way while still being adaptable which is a really good quality of Virgo um, they're often seen as the people who hire employees or um, who build up like little teams or who get people to do to get their excuse my language to get their shit together um, being a mutable sign I think that there's always this aspect that they're showing or this aspect of themselves that's up front. And there's another aspect of themselves which they're keeping hidden from the surface, probably even hidden from themselves at time. Um, since they're ruled by Mercury, I think this little duality will play a lot uh, in communications. And Virgo is also really good at understanding the whole. So while they are able to perhaps show little details or communicate them in the back of their minds they'll just be building this big picture about things or perhaps they'll be telling the the thing how it is and keeping a few details for themselves you know um, Virgo being very clean in their approach any planet that falls in there will be um, it's kind of like the fertile earth you know if they've got Mercury in Virgo, which a lot of Virgos will have, um, their minds will be really clean in the sense that they'll be really detailed and they'll be really direct and they'll be able to um, make sure that things are commu communicated in an e efficient way, you know. Uh, if you got Mars in Virgo, let's say, your body is like this fertile earth, you'll be really good at like bodybuilding, taking care of your body. Um, just doing yoga, I don't know, like something where you can use your physical body in a precise way, you'll be able to exercise that. Um, they're also, since they're very like detail oriented, they have like a list of, a big list of expectations about things, whether it be in love, especially if you got Venus in there, or um, just any planet or any Virgo energy, they'll have like this big list of expectations, like they want things to be totally clean, totally perfect, like a, like a virgin in a way. And a lot of the times they can't even like respect the, these expectations for themselves. So they can be like really hard on themselves or hard on others who do not fulfill those set expectations. So that's something to keep in mind and to balance with the opposite signs energy, which is the sign of Pisces, the sign of like going with the flow, going with like the assurance that divine love just provides perfection for things. Um, where Pisces color is um, like a, this crazy pink magenta, uh, Virgo will have gray. So they're they're kind of neutral in that sense that they're not all white or all black. They're like you know, they're neutral, just like their Mercury, um, which is a planet that's ruling them, is neutral. It's not feminine, it's not masculine. Um, so yeah, Pisces is a lot about going with the flow and just letting yourself be like <laughs> ridden by life and just see how it goes Virgo will be a lot about like making sure the structure is fine so there's kind of like this little nervousness about them that can be pleasing a little bit 
and it can it could also like drive them crazy because there's always like where Gemini always has like this whirlwind of information. Virgo was more like okay, is is everything like in check? Like I'm always like looking back onto things to make sure like okay, that's done, that's done, that's done, that's done. That's why they hire people in a good way or they're really good at that because they'll be able to like size up people and like take notes of little details and see the whole through that you know it's one of virgo's biggest strength like sometime you you'll talk to virgo about like something and you're like oh, i wonder like how much you understand out of it and if you gave like um little good little pieces of information like you would be amazed at how much of Virgo is understood from only those tiny little dots that they're connecting you know what they're seeing in the whole and at the same time I feel like this could be their downfall as much as like the mind is a great tool um, and that Neptune the opposing signs planet uh, is often linked to illusions and dissolving of boundaries um, you know, the mind imposes its own boundaries and the mind labels things things quickly. So the mind produces its own illusions in a way, you know. So that's something to keep in mind. If you've labeled something, and I mean, it, it kind of goes for every sign, but if you're Virgo and you've labeled something, um, don't be afraid to like, um, kind of like reanalyze stuff, especially as new information and new details and new experiences come and always kind of reevaluate with what you've seen you know because um, you don't want to like label something um, in the wrong way and be stuck with a bad uh, picture of the whole you know where Pisces is kind of coming from like this source energy or this whole this God thing and they're trying to communicate it um, Virgo will be coming from communications in the mental and they'll be trying to understand the whole, you know. So where Pisces is like God trying to like manifest itself on Earth, Virgo is more like this uh, earthy sign, right? They're more about like trying to create a partnership with God through the mind, through their comprehension of the whole. Yeah, the, the body part that they rule is mostly the lower digestive tracts and then the lower back also. Um, am I miss? I think they, they, they also rule the pancreas, as cancer could do, it depends on which system of astrology, I would say. But since they rule the lower digestive tracts, they're a lot about um, breaking things down into little pieces and refining them, you know, that's a lot of, of the Virgo energy. And um, yeah. They're, they're mostly, at least in my hemisphere of the world, in like our Western world, the Virgo season happens when like a lot of the crops are harvested. So it's like the sign of the harvest, if you want. They're kind of good at like um, sizing if like a fruit is ripe, if you want. Like if someone can do the job, if they can do the job, that's why they always want things to be perfect. They want the fruit to be good you know like full of juice they want it to be clean they want their fruit to be uh, without illness and stuff you know because they're the virgin energy um being the virgin energy also they could be seen as um like uh, they could be seen as a bit naive at times but um i think they're really smart and they're really, really, really detail oriented. So sometimes they can just hold off details for themselves and see the whole and not really tell you because they're still building onto it. But at one point you're going to see them kind of like unleash is a bit of a strong word, but they're going to like unleash their picture of the whole and what they see. And you'll be like, oh, damn, Virgo, you're actually really smart. You actually see all those things. It's fantastic. Like, great job. Um, you know, Virgo comes right after uh, Leo. Leo is more self-centered. It's more about being the center of attention in the show. It's like first understanding everything that's around and how everything should revolve around Leo. But when it gets to Virgo, it's like, okay, how could I actually use these people 
to like serve myself but serve the whole also like serve humanity how could i use them as like a workforce or what skills do they have that i could use for myself um so yeah that's a lot what virgo is about it's dealing with relationships like that but kind of like in you know, kind of like hiring people you know or like making them do your deeds or making making sure that the whole is all right but like um giving to people in a way but like by making sure that everything in the physical plane is in the the right order and after that virgo with the sun after the son of virgo you have libra which is more about being a diplomat and making kind of like everybody happy in a sense and like making your relationships harmonious well virgo isn't quite there yet or it's not quite his job you know virgo was more practical in a sense it's more focused on um, it's more focused on like uh, the growth of things in the physical plane um So yeah, that's pretty much what I had to say about Virgo. It's like my fifth take on them and I don't know, I'm just doing it like I feel I should do it right now. But um, I hope you liked it. You can like it. If you did, you can comment it. Especially if your Mercury is in Virgo because you probably have something nice to say. And um you can have a good time, bro. Relax a little bit because you're a bit crazy at times, but it's cool. Just keep your ground.